Hey friends, Isaac here. It's Tuesday, June 21st. Welcome to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Kevin is a best-selling author, international speaker and global brand publisher. He's founder, executive director of Global Hope India and CEO of Spirit Media. Spirit Media. As a serial entrepreneur, Kevin has helped start hundreds of churches, businesses and non-profits throughout the world. Before starting today's episode, Kevin asked me to make sure you've heard about The Writers Club with Kevin White. Kevin just finished writing his third book in three years. He can help you write your first or next book. The Writers Club with Kevin White is a weekly small group via Zoom with writers for accountability and structure through coaching and collaboration. Learn more at spiritmedia.us. That's spiritmedia.us. Today, Kevin is joined by Temsala Bass of Nashville, North Carolina. Temsala is a sister in Christ, friend and board member for Global Hope India. Put your hands together and let's welcome Kevin and Temsala to today's show. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Living the Dream Show. How are you? My name's Kevin. Hey. I'm here with my co host, Temsala. How are you? Hey. Good, Hi. how are you? Doing well. If you're watching on Facebook, we're high-fiving you, fist-pumping you. We'd love to give every one of you a hug if you're listening wherever podcasts can be heard. I hope that you are doing well. Uh, we are so grateful to have you in the audience. It is June the 21st, 2022, and we are thankful to be alive, thankful to know the Lord Jesus Christ. And last week, we actually prayed the prayer uh, for many people to come and take Jesus only for salvation. And we're talking about peace. We're talking about the gift of God and peace. And today we're going to continue a powerful discussion out of John chapter 14, verse 27. I've asked Timsala to read it the last couple of weeks. So let me read it and then I'm going to turn it over to Timsala as we talk about the phrase, do not let your hearts be troubled. But Jesus says, peace, I leave with you. We talked about the presence of God has been left with us. God came, Jesus ascended into heaven. He said, pray that the Holy Spirit would come upon you. And so the very peace of I'm sorry, the very presence of God that Adam and Eve knew in the Garden of Eden has been restored to us through Jesus by the Holy Spirit. So Jesus says, peace, I leave with you. My peace, I give you. You can't go buy it. You'll never find it on Amazon.com or wherever you shop online or in your markets. It's only through a personal love relationship with God through Jesus Christ. That's mm -hmm. it. It's given. You can't earn it. You can't buy it. It's a free gift. He says, my peace, I give you. I do not give as the word world gives you. And so then he says a powerful phrase we're going to dive into today. Don't or do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. And we talked the last couple of weeks that trouble and fear are realities for every person on the planet, no matter what passport you hold what skin color you have, what dialect and mother tongue you grew up with, where you were born, every person, 7 billion people plus alive, and every one of us know what trouble is. We all know what fear and worry and anxiety and doubt are. So, Timsala, what comes to mind? How can Jesus be so audacious to say, do not let your hearts be troubled? One thing I am very certain is he knows that our hearts will be troubled. And yes. that's, why, that's why he is warning us about not letting our hearts be troubled because we tend to worry. We are, I think, humanly, you know, we um, are born warriors. Mm -hmm. Some maybe to the extreme and some very mild, but Nonetheless, we worry. We worry about our job. We worry about what to eat. We worry about the world. We worry about our children. We worry about our education. I mean, the list goes on. There is like a nonstop. Our hearts are not at peace. And knowing that 
Jesus is very clearly, and it doesn't matter. It, it you know goes beyond gender. It goes beyond race. It goes beyond nationality. Everybody experienced that. No matter you can be born in the, you know out in the boonies, but still, worry is and peace. All those words are something that is very common to. I mean every one of us that we all can agree on that we worry we all can agree about peace jesus knowing all that he is cautioning us not to let you know our hearts be troubled not to allow it's very easy for us to allow what we see to consume us mm -hmm. to take the place of god and so when we remove God from our hearts and allow all these things to enter. Our hearts will not be as at peace and we will not have the peaceful communication. Even with uh, our relationship with God is also disrupted because our heart is not at peace. And so our heart is troubled. And that's one of the reasons why I believe that he is warning us that we need to be careful to guard our hearts, to guard our hearts from being so troubled, from worrying so much, something that you and I cannot control. Why should we allow that to control our life? You know, when our heart is so troubled, we are allowing things that is out of our control to control us to such an extent that it's affecting everything we do. It's affecting our relationship with God, for those people who are believers, it really affects our relationship with God. And so, like I think in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7, Paul also talks about, do not be anxious. And so, when the enemy wants us, and when the enemy wants us to worry, to have our trouble, hard to be troubled, what we can do is to look at what Jesus said, this week, you know, I have been thinking about this peace, peace, because so much of unrest, so much of uh, things that's going on around us that's making our heart to be so troubled. And so um, I've been thinking about it a lot and what it means when Jesus is saying not to let my heart be so troubled. Mm -hmm. It's uh, protecting my heart to such an extent that when the enemy wants to, my heart to be troubled so much, the best thing is to read the Word of God. And just reading the Word of God has helped me to, for my heart to be at peace, mm -hmm. to get the assurance that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Mm -hmm. He is the peace. And when His presence is in me, why am I allowing? All those things that is not from him to impact, to uh, affect my life in such a way that it's creating a wall between me and God. And so it has really uh, helped me. The more I read, it has helped me to uh, get my heart at peace and not to be troubled. And when the enemy reminds me, what I do usually is to um, pray more. Mm -hmm you know, to pray more. And instead of letting the world dictate to me, instead of letting my feelings dictate to me, I allow the Word of God to minister to me. I allow God's Word, the Prince of Peace, to minister to me. And I allow Him to speak to me His truth, not the lies around me, mm -hmm. or not what the world is telling me. And so, um, it helps me to get into focus and that helps me to uh, be effective in terms of how I daily interact with people around me. Even when I go to the grocery store, how I interact with people that are different from me. Mm -hmm. And so even to my family or even to my spouse or even to other people around me on a daily cycle, how I interact, it really has an impact. And Prayer really brings things into perspective. Instead of um, letting the world talk to me, I talk to God. 
Mm-hmm. And that's when that you know, that's when the peace of God comes upon each one of us. And so, yeah, when Jesus was talking about do not let your heart be troubled, it's or not to be afraid, he is saying that I am the peace. And so why do you let the your heart be troubled? And I am, you know, the creator, I am the sustainer, I have I know the beginning, I know the end. And so why are you afraid? Mm -hmm. And that's how I feel. And so, yes, with his word, I have that confidence. With his words, I have that peace. Mm -hmm. And so I do not have to worry about paying my bills. I do not have, that doesn't mean that I should not do anything about it, but I do not allow the worry to control me. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Amen. I want you to hear what Tim Sula is saying and ultimately what Jesus is saying here. Do not let your hearts be troubled. She did a good job of really just articulating some of that trouble that we can experience. But Jesus is not unkind, uncaring, or foolish in saying, don't let your hearts be troubled. He has given you the solution. In advance, you and I, the solution, peace, I leave with you. He's saying, I'm leaving my presence. I will be an ever-present help. No matter what you're going through, I am here. And he's saying, and I'm giving it to you. So you don't have to worry about having enough money to buy enough peace. So then he's saying, as I am with you and it's free, don't let your heart be troubled. What she just are beautifully articulated is that If we allow, we will get to a point where we will value money more than the presence of God, or we'll value medicine above the presence of God. You can fill in that blank with millions of things, but we can value those things more than we do the presence of God. And when we do, peace will begin to drain out of our life. Instead of filling up to overflowing, we will actually be depleted of peace. Mm -hmm. If I allow, I can get so consumed on the money situation in my life that I begin to worry. I'm now having anxious thoughts. I am fearful for what is going to happen. I just no longer have any sense of peace about me And it's because I shifted my focus from the presence of God onto the need of money in my Mm -hmm. life. And we can do that with money. We can do it with people. We can do it with job. We can do it with college. We can do it with our health. We can do it with so much we cannot control. And yet Jesus is saying, my presence is what brings peace and it's free. So don't let your heart be troubled. You and I have a choice and we have a right. We have an opportunity as children of God to be filled with peace all the time and to overflow in. It doesn't mean we're not going to be tempted. It doesn't mean we're not going to come out to a flat tire. It doesn't mean that we're never going to have a bad diagnosis from the doctor or, or we're going to face problems because we all do. We've already established that. But it's what we acknowledge as the chief value in our life. And if that is the presence of God, it doesn't matter what happens to us. We can still be at peace. Mm -hmm. Have you ever watched someone go through a hellacious experience and yet they testified, but I had the peace of God the whole time? I didn't know if they were going to take my life. Maybe it was gang violence or or some type of physical violence. But their testimony was, I didn't know what was going to happen to me, but I had such a strong sense of the peace of God in the midst of that. When the doctor spoke the word cancer, I just had this peace come over me. If you'll look for it, you'll hear those testimonies. And I want to ask you, is it your testimony? Is it the testimony of your friends of other passport holders? We want to 
guard our hearts and to receive this free gift of peace and hear that a good, loving, caring father says through his son, Jesus Christ, don't let your hearts be troubled. Mm -hmm. So is your heart troubled today? If so, it's just pointing to the need for the presence of God. Now, we prayed the prayer last week to begin the taking Jesus only for salvation. But every day we can pray a simple prayer of Heavenly Father, will you just make me aware of your presence today? Mm. Will you increase my value for your presence? Father, would you reveal your peace to me? No matter what I go through today, give me a sense of your peace. And that's calling for a higher value on the presence of God. Mm -hmm. That's how we can let our heart not be troubled. So we've got one more episode on this verse, and we'll see you back next week on the Live in the Dream Show. God bless you all. God bless you all. There are 3 billion people alive today who still have limited to no access to know about Jesus. Most live in the 1040 window. This is the rectangular area 10 degrees north and 40 degrees north latitude, extending from North Africa through India, the Middle East, and Asia. For over 20 years, Global Hope India has been empowering local churches throughout India to provide access to Jesus. You can make a difference now at globalhopeindia.org. Thank you for listening to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Don't forget to visit spiritmedia.us for the Writers Club with Kevin White, a weekly small group via Zoom with writers for accountability and structure through coaching and collaboration. Visit spiritmedia.us today. Visit kevinwhite.us and join thousands of subscribers to Kevin's free daily one-minute motivation series called Generously Blessed. Kevin's books, Audacious Generosity and Get to the Point, are available in hardback, paperback, ebook, and audiobook at kevinwhite.us, worldwide on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, and everywhere books are sold. Your five star review on Amazon will be greatly appreciated. This has been Living the Dream with Kevin White. Find the complete archive of all episodes at kevinwhite.us or subscribe for free through your favorite podcast player and never miss an episode. This program is copyright Kevin White International Incorporated. All rights reserved. Each week we bring you a message of living the dream as people of every nation, tribe and tongue worship Jesus together on earth today as it already is in heaven. Remembering the gift of God's presence through Jesus Christ is accessible to everyone. Join us again next week for Living the Dream with Kevin White.